Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're gonna be dominating this shorthand syntax by showing you how to use it within the span mixin, as well as showing you how to use the layout function to create a map out of the shorthand syntax. So check it out, we're gonna get into it now. What other things can we do with the shorthand syntax? Well, let's go ahead and uh, let's take this off and let's put our, our grid settings back to 80% for our container. And you can actually pass in grid settings into the span mixin. So let's come in here and we have the span mixin and you remember we're saying eight, all we have to say here is eight. It's spanning eight columns of 12, right? Because of our main layout right now is set to 12. So another way we could say this to add more functionality here is we could say eight at zero of 12, and then we could pass in some information here, right? We could give it grid settings. So we could say now it's going to be of 24, and then instead of, um, the one fourth gutters, we could make our gutters way smaller and say something like one eighth. And so let's save this and come to our page. And what's crazy here is that this content and the sidebar content are both uh, on essentially different grids. So this main area is spanning uh, eight columns of 24 with one eighth size gutters. Meanwhile, this aside is spanning four at nine of 12. Uh, it would be the same as typing of 12 here because it's using our generic settings, our default settings. So you can pass in a whole bunch of stuff here. You could even, you know, tell this grid to be fluid or something here. Basically any of these extra settings you can pass into the span mixin and uh, it should be, it should be good. So this is something you wanna play around with. There's all sorts of crazy things you can do here. Uh, but really, just the shorthand syntax is just awesome because Susie just gets it right. It You don't really have to give it a whole bunch of extra stuff like we had been doing before with the maps. Now, what happens if you wanted a map to be created out of this shorthand syntax? Well, okay, if we wanted to make a map of this uh, shorthand syntax, all we have to do is use this um, this function, right? So the function is named layout, but now what this function is doing is not going to actually set the layout, it's just going to define a map. So like we create any variable, we would just say dollar sign map and then semicolon so now what this line is doing is it's making a Suzy map out of this shorthand where it's actually going to create this exact piece of code here with the name of map instead of wide layout. So this is just some of the incredible things that Suzy can accomplish. In the next video, we're gonna be talking about breakpoints and how you can use those to build responsive grids with Suzy. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video, hit us up at Twitter or Facebook or our forum or wherever. Uh, we love to hear from you. And if you feel like supporting Level Up Tuts, sign up for Level Up Tuts Pro. It's only $8.99 a month or uh, $95 for the year. And you get access to some cool features at Level Up Tuts and you help keep the videos free and everybody happy with all sorts of, you know, new improvements to the site and content. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. Thanks for watching. Bye.